Have you ever visited a website that was so visually unappealing that you just had to leave? Well, a website's color scheme can actually make or break the user experience. But what if I were to tell you that creating a visually appealing website is much easier than you think? You're going to learn from my hacks to creating color schemes with ease. This isn't going to be a video on color theory. First, I'm not a color pro, but second, I found awesome methods to generating color palettes without having to deep dive into color theory. Hack number one, pick a color that invokes the right emotion. Did you know that colors you choose for your website can actually have a psychological impact on your visitors? Different colors evoke different emotions, and it's important to choose colors that are appropriate for your brand and the message that you want to convey. Later, I'll show you an awesome tool to help out with this. So check out this chart that goes over the various emotions that are evoked by by different colors. Once you identify the color, it's time to go to hack number two. Hack two, use a palette generator. I'm gonna show you some tools that provide a ton of value. This is one of my favorite tools. Everything I'm gonna be talking about is linked below. Just by clicking the spacebar, you're able to generate different colors. So say if we want to go with green because we want to invoke the emotion of say money, we're doing marketing services and we want to do money. Well, we're gonna click this and wow, actually the first one's green. Normally it takes a little bit to find the color that you want to do. So say if we like this green, we're gonna click the lock and then we're gonna keep clicking the space bar until we find other colors that we like. And so it'll automatically adapt the new colors it's generating to the one that you locked into place. And so you can keep doing this. And if we like this brown, keep doing it with the rest of the colors. So this is a super easy way because it automatically is finding the right combination of colors for you. But if you think that this is too much work, then let's go to hack number three. Tools like Canva have preset palettes for you. So similarly, we can start with a color in mind, but search it. So I'm gonna go green and just click enter. And now we have a bunch of pre-made palettes that are shades of green. And we can click one of these and we've got all of the different hex codes that we can copy right out of here. But you may feel limited with only using four colors and you want some more variety. So hack number four, use a color shade generator. This is an awesome tool that we can plug in any color. So I'm gonna take this lime green and plug this in and it's gonna generate me different shades of the color. So this is the color I entered and then these are all darker shades and then this is the color I entered and then these are all lighter shades. So I really like websites that use the same color and overlay them with each other. It's called a monochromatic theme. And this is a really effective way of making it easy but then also just making it very visually appealing. But there's a problem with this. Not all of the colors will overlay with each other. So that brings me to hack number five, which is testing the contrast ratios between colors to make sure that it's very visible. It sucks going to a website when it's like yellow on white and you can't read because the contrast ratio is terrible. So this tool, color.review, will help solve that. So basically you type in your foreground color, your background color, and it lets you know if you're passing the accessibility guidelines. So this is great for people that may have an issue not being able to see the different colors very well. And just in general, I mean, everybody has an issue seeing yellow on white. So it's great to use this tool to determine that the ratio between the two colors. So if we, and they have lines right here, so this is acceptable. These are all unacceptable. So we need to go above this line. And because headlines are big, a lower ratio, 3.4 is more acceptable but smaller text is failing right now. So we need to drag this color up into an appropriate range. And so what I like to do is just keep testing different colors. So say, you know, these, these two colors are gonna be too close with each other, then just keep widening the margin between those colors until you find two colors that can overlay each other and the ratio is gonna be high enough that the visitor reads it and nothing's blending in with the background. But with that method, it's still difficult to determine where to put the colors on your website. That's something that I always struggled with. Okay, we've got our color palette, but what color are the headings? What color are the buttons? So there's a general rule. You don't have to follow it to a T and you really don't have to follow it at all, but it's helpful to determine how often to use the colors. It's the 60-30-10 rule. So 60% of the time you should be using your primary color, 30% of the time your secondary color, and then 10% of the time your accent color. 
Now you don't need to stick with three colors and you don't need to do it just like that, but it's just helpful if you're wondering what to do with all of these colors. But if this all seems too complicated, I wanna to introduce to you hack number seven, using happy hues. Happy Hues is a free, awesome resource. You don't need to sign up for anything, and it really is a one-stop shop for all your color needs. So in here, they give you a lot of definitions about what's going on within colors, but they also go over the psychology of color. So this can be your one-stop shop to determining, okay, I wanna use blue, but here's where it gets really good. They have preset color palettes and they let you know where to use the colors on your website. So for this color palette, the blue one, we're gonna set the backgrounds to white and the card backgrounds to blue. And we've got, you know, the card text highlights to red. So it's really giving you an idea of where to use the colors. And this website actually does it. So if we switch color palettes, we're gonna see that they use this brown as the button right here. The background is this color and we can see that here. And we have a tertiary color here, which is our accent color right up here. So this is just really putting it all right there for us and spoon feeding us exactly what we need. And looking at this website, it's very visually appealing. So we know this guy knows what he's talking about. It's built by Mackenzie Child. Thank you for putting this together. It's making all of our lives easier. If a visitor goes to your webpage, color schemes can make all the difference, but that's dependent on them getting to your webpage. Without the right meta titles, you're not gonna get any organic traffic to your website. And in this video, I go over the secrets to crafting the perfect meta title. 